Here we are, South by Southwest world premiere of Beef. Who is excited? Whoa! We got Steven Yoon, we have Ali Wong. Road rage type of show. So the question is, what's the beef with beef? Wild. I'm so excited. South by is like one of my favorite film festival of all time. When I found out we were coming to South by, I was like so hyped because our show is like made for this place. The beef is a road rage incident. Two people get into an altercation on the streets and it spirals out of control and it unravels their lives and chaos ensues. The main thing is that it's about much, much more than road rage and I think that's kind of like a, a point of entry that everyone can relate to. It's really just about two people connecting with each other and seeing each other for who they are. Almost like a romantic comedy, but it's not a romantic comedy. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of creating its own genre of um, dark humor and like an investigation into people, in a sense, and I'm really honored to be a part of it. Allie's so wonderful. I think her and I have this really great, like, energy that we both recognize. The first scene that we did together, it was, like, so electric, and we were just like, ooh, I can't wait. It was such a dream come true to work with Steven and Sunny. Collaborating, for me, can be really scary. I'm so used to doing stand-up and doing everything by myself. And uh, I, I just trust these guys so inherently from the beginning. Whatever happens, however this is received, like, the best thing through and through like what I got out of the show is my friendships with those two guys. They're just the best human beings to be around. Um, we've become very very close friends and I mean, on top of that they're also some of the best performers uh, alive today. The way they created the three of them all together with Sunny, the way they built the stories over the course of the years and they just really really nurtured how they can take to not just mediocre but to the next next level. I mostly just hope that people are entertained and I think like what's so special about Sunny he's writing and the performances that Steven and Allie and everyone brought to it is that it feels personal to them and if people can relate to that then I think there's a whole host of layers and questions that it can bring up for people. I hope that like people maybe can forgive themselves through seeing themselves in these characters. I hope that you know this feels comforting to them. I really want to speak a lot about it but I kind of want you guys to just watch and experience it. First of all, how are you feeling right now, guys? Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's really exciting. We've been in a hole making this, and this is the first time we've obviously seen it with like a live audience. So thank you so much for being here. It's, it's really exciting. Yeah. It's just really good to see all your faces, so thank you, thank you. So, so Sonny, you are the brains behind Beef. You uh, are the creator, the showrunner, the, the writer. What was the impetus for this story? Where did the idea come from? Uh, well, the idea came from a real road rage thing that I went through. Uh, it was with a white SUV. Um, it was a BMW, though, not a Mercedes. And uh, yeah, it, it honked at me, cursed at me, and drove away. And for some reason on that day, I was like, I'm going to follow you. <laughs> Uh, it didn't end uh, like it did in the show, but thankfully that's why I'm here, able to talk to you today. Uh, but it definitely made me think about just how we live in such subjective realities and we project so much onto, onto people that we don't know all the time and uh, thought maybe there would be a show here. And uh, so yeah, thanks to A24 and Netflix encouraging me to pursue it. Uh, that's why we're here today. Well. <laughs> Uh, if you don't mind me talking shop for a second, so you, you have this road rage incident. <laughs> How do you take it from that experience to a show? Like, did you write a pilot first? How did you, how did you go about selling this project? Uh, I didn't write the pilot first. We actually uh, got straight to series off a of pitch, which is very rare, but um, we were able to do that because, uh, I mean, honestly, these two, a uh, lot of conversations. Uh, I think the joy of having them on as executive producers from the very start is, uh, is just constantly talking, like text from me at like 1.30 in the morning, being like, Danny, you think, uh, how much do you love uh, Three Musketeers? You, you think you eat a lot of them? <laughs> uh, yes, yes and, I do. Uh, and you know, obviously Danny's eating a Three Musketeers bar when he's coming to uh, Amy's. 
But uh, yeah, just having that back and forth uh, allowed us to really fill these characters fully before we took it out. And I think that's why um, buyers really resonated with it. Well, and Stephen and Ali, as Sonny said, you both were executive producers. Did you have a lot of input into the evolution of the characters? Stephen, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, yeah, I think, you know, we have a lot of shared experiences in terms of, um, you know, it's, it's cool to be able to tell stories like this from this point of view that I think is, like, deeply connective and human. And so then we're just, like, having fun mining, like, small, intricate, authentic things. Like, you know, both Sonny and I grew up in Korean church, so then you can just kind of, like, play with that and share the experience. Or um, we have uncles and cousins <clears throat> or, uh, you know, family members who have not been seen that we can kind of, you know, pull from, and um, that's hopefully what it felt like watching. Ali, how about you? Did you have any input into the evolution of Amy? Yeah, I think it, we, I do remember talking a lot throughout the development process, and I mean, this is only actually, it's just so surreal watching this again, and it brings up so many memories of the conversations we had in 2020 over Zoom in COVID, when we were all like uh, in our t-shirts and bottomless, <laughs> like having these Zoom calls talking. Um, yeah, we, and, but I really have to give the most credit to Sunny. This is really, I mean, I've never eaten a Burger King chicken sandwich in my life. The, you know, it's, it's, it's really beautiful to see Sunny express himself through the show, but, and yes, and, and all of us. You mean it was chicken, not beef? <laughs> I, sorry, I, stupid, sorry, shouldn't do that. Um, Sonny, did you have actors in mind when you were conceiving of the idea? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Stephen, um, I, I think he was the first person outside of Ravi at A24 that I told the idea to. And uh, that first conversation, we talked for like three hours. Uh, you know, conversations with Stephen usually start with like, you know, a very simple thing like, hey, I want to talk to you about a show. And then three hours later, we're like, why is God the way he is? <laughs> you know? and, uh, and so all those conversations uh, definitely helped spawn the show. And then, um, you know, for like maybe half a day, we were like, what if you were up against like uh, Stanley Tucci? And uh, that felt too like literal and first thought. And then um, Ali happened to call me about something else. and we caught up and she just has such a funny way of talking about harsh things in life and it made me think, oh, what about Ali? And then uh, once we were all on board, it, it uh, just came together very fast. Ali, what do you think about God? <laughs> Come on, don't ask me that here in Texas. <laughs> in these times, in these streets. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going out like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It, this really is a, a, a departure for you, for you, though. I mean, it's a very different role, and even though Beef is, it's billed as a dark comedy, I mean, it is hugely dramatic, hugely emotional, and it's, it's really contemplative. So I wonder how you, like, readied for the role, and are we going to see this, see more of this from you in the future? Well, I have to give a lot of, you know, pe people always ask me too about the gun masturbation scene and if that was difficult, that wasn't difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, I got this, it's fine. The difficult, you know, the more challenging parts were, um, there's some therapy scenes where I sit and I talk for a long time and I just, I, I, I'm sitting, I can't, I'm used to like being able to gesture and have a lot of like different inflections in my voice and everything, so that was, something I've never done before. And I have to give a lot of credit to our heads of department. Like the costumes uh, designer, like she purposely dressed me in a lot of neutrals, which I don't wear usually. I dress like, you know, kind of very expressive and loud, but it, you know, Amy has, <laughs> has these like insane thoughts, but she's kind of costumed herself in this, these zen outfits. She's really in a maze of her own creation. And then in the set design, Grace spaced out those bars in Amy's home, like to this, she calculated to this perfect amount where it's seemingly zen, but her house also feels like a cage. So any time I was in my costume or in Amy's space, I always felt like this is supposed to be nice and I asked for this, but I do feel a little trapped. 
And so all of that really helped me prepare and get into it. And also because like Steven, my God is Steven and he's so committed and he's such an incredible actor and he's like such a good listener. I had no choice but to like rise to the occasion because oh, I didn't want to embarrass don't myself. Don't let her fool you, she crushed it. <laughs> she was right there out the gate. It was so breezy. Yeah. So yeah, and then, I, and then just having trust in Sonny and his vision and when he said, do it like this, I was like, okay. <laughs> and, that, and that helped a lot. Um, well, Stephen, this is also a pretty different role for you as well. What what drew you to the character of Danny and 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 the idea of Beef as well? And did you inject any of Stephen into Danny? Uh, a little bit. Um, I, I think I think maybe the, the you know what attracted me is that we got to play with something that maybe we're not asked to on the surface, which is like our shadow selves. And I think. You know, this whole show is kind of about every character's shadow self, and uh, we all have that. And so to tap into that and get paid for it <laughs> is great. <laughs> and have your friends with you and have this story so that we can connect with you all about it and hopefully, like, make you feel seen, too, because this shit's, like, very common, <laughs> surprisingly. So. Um, that was really liberating and fun, and so I, I just jumped at it, you know? Well, I, I was, as I was watching, I mean, the, the, the chemistry that you all have is so incredible, and you've all been friends for a while. I mean, what was that like to have these highly intense, dramatic scenes with your friends? I mean, it's interesting, because even watching the pilot, I got, like, emotional at the end, because when I'm chasing after Steve, that was, like, the first thing we shot together, and after the first take of me running after him, we were laughing hysterically. And there's pictures of us, like, we're like hugging and laughing and we're just like, I can't believe we're doing this together. And in, I mean, even though we go up against each other in this series, in between takes, like I remember in Amy's house, we would unplug our mics and go off into the corner, go on the stairs and just gossip and giggle. <laughs> so, I mean, it was really, we were making a show and it was really hard work, but it was, even now, like it's just so nice to be doing this with, with friends. How about you, Stephen? What was it like for you to work with such good friends doing, playing this kind of a role? Yeah, you know, it, it keeps you um, feeling safe and uh, it helps you to be more honest and um, that you're not left kind of on your own vulnerability, but you're kind of sharing in this thing. And um, I think that's the only real way that like Ali and I could like get together and just like ream each other out. And uh, you're gonna see more and it's really <laughs> fun. Um, but that, that's, 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 I think, the beauty of the chemistry is that, you know, we, we get to be safe and friends and, and, and sit in love and then just like totally go at each other on screen. <laughs> well, well, speaking of reaming each other, I mean, you all, <laughs> you spend a lot of time being very angry. Like, you, I mean, it, it, it's so visceral, this show. How do you get into it? And then, how do you get out of it? Like, was it hard to decompress after exerting that kind of energy on being so fucking angry? Yeah, our bodies shut down afterwards, right? Yeah, Stephen and I broke, both broke out into hives <laughs> after the show. I, yeah. Mine was on my face. Yeah, mine was all over my body. His was all yeah. over his body, because he's weak like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> sensitive, I'm sensitive. <laughs> But um, yeah, it, was, it definitely took a toll on us that I think we didn't even realize until after the show ended. I mean, I won't yeah. even talk about what happened to your elbow. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, um. but yeah, I mean, and I don't think we knew that was gonna happen. If we knew what we were gonna put like our bodies and minds through, maybe we wouldn't have said yes to <laughs> all of this, but, but we're really glad we did. Yeah. You know? Stephen, how did, how did you decompress? I mean. Other, outside of getting all the, these physical issues. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, afterwards I had to spend some time kind of just like chilling out. But you know, what was really nice is like when you get to express this all in that safety of friendship and, and, and on, on, you know, on set, you kind of go home and you're like, well, I don't gotta really explore that any, any, like anywhere else. <laughs> so it, it wasn't too bad it was i think it was just the holding of the tension that was really gnarly but um you know we're we it just keeps going you know we're, we're all living in it i think it's like finding that balance of trying to be chill because this shit is 
always hard, right? Like it's it's gnarly. So um, try and try and. Um, Sunny, you really explore these themes of class divide in the show, um, and although Amy and Danny's lives could not be more different and polar opposite, there are similarities in their demeanor. Talk about that that desire to want to convey that. Um, I think. Uh, probably because I've been both Danny and Amy, you know, uh, when I started writing, I was quite poor uh, and uh, had a lot of Dannyisms constantly <laughs> and uh, and was very uh, sad inside. And then now here I am at South by with a show and I'm probably still sad inside. And, uh, <laughs> and so like, uh, you know, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it, it, this uh, this feeling uh, kind of never goes away, and so you have to try and figure out how to how to accept it and live with it. And I think that's why I wrote the show the way I did. Yeah. Um, I think one of the reasons why it, this show really resonates with people. I mean, there's so much that is absurd about it because that impulsive anger is absurd, you know? And I think we've all been there, right? We, we uh, whether it's a road rage accident or something like, we're so close to being just set off um, at any moment. And you often have to deal with the ripple effects of that. So what are you hoping that audiences take away from this experience? I'll ask all of you that. Sunny, I'll start with you. Um, well, I mean, I, I hope everyone takes what they need for wherever they're at, uh, I, I think. Um, but for me, uh, there was a Carl Jung quote uh, that really was the North Star for, for a lot of the writing. And uh, he says, uh, one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. And I think uh, we spend a lot of times like with our masks and personas on as we interact with one another. Um, and I think that separateness causes us to feel like oh, these things that we only know in our own brains, like no one else does, and that can lead to like shame and isolation and feeling alone. And I think the more we kind of are like, oh, I actually have thought that before too, or I've actually even done that before, uh, if we would just kind of like take our masks off once in a while, I think the need to go as crazy with um, expressing some of these things wouldn't be as high. So. I don't know, that, that's kind of my takeaway from, from the show. Stephen Nally, what are you hoping audiences take away from the show? I, I just hope people, you know, see themselves in parts of the show and that they find a connection and feel less alone. Yeah, same, I, I, I hope uh, you find comfort and I hope it's fun. I hope uh, you just watch it with your friends and family and just like talk about it and laugh at everyone and laugh at ourselves, we're so weird. Uh, it's great. I love that you said find comfort in this show. <laughs> no, I mean, it is, it is, I'm telling you there is nothing else like this on television. And, and you know, my prediction and who am I, this is going to be a, a huge, massive success. Because, again, it's so relatable in its absurdity. Um, Sunny, what can we expect in future episodes? And Ali and Steven, what are you most excited for, for audiences to see? I'm most excited for people to see the finale. Because <laughs> it's, it's really different, and I think it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I, yeah, I'm just excited for you guys to go on the ride, because it just gets crazier and crazier. <laughs> um, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm excited for you to rewatch it as many times so that we get those <laughs> sweet, sweet hours viewed and break some records. <laughs> well, give it up, everyone, once again, for Lee Sung Jin, Thanks, Alan Lisa. Wong, and Stephen Young. Thank Yon. you so much. April 6th, everyone, on Netflix. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. So where is beef? It's on Netflix starting April 6th. That does it for this premiere. South by Southwest 2023 is winding down, but not to worry, more coming your way right here.